this is crinoline mesh it has very tiny holes in it you can barely see the holes and the thread used to weave this crinoline net is quite strong so the fabric does not have stretch at all which okay? it doesn't have stretch on the lengthwise grain line neither does it have stretch on the crosswise grain line okay now this mesh is suitable for ball gown dresses suitable for peplum for flay for your 3d designs for cone dresses okay and the reason why it is suitable for all that is that it is voluminous and it is easy to come back to the to the normal way it is okay so when you squeeze your crinoline mesh it is expected to come back to the way it was okay when you squeeze it it is expected to come back to the way it was so it is suitable for undergarments for your petticoats your ball gown dresses and all that okay whichever garment you want to make and you want it to look full and big you use your crinoline mesh underneath it now i mentioned crosswise green line and lengthwise green line so i'll just explain it using this crinoline mesh now i'll start by telling us what this woven part of the fabric is called this woven part of the fabric is called self edge self edge all fabrics have this self edge okay so this is called self edge now you can see that some threads are going parallel to the self edge parallel lines are lines that never meet so this is the self edge and then the threads that are just on top going this way okay that never meet the self edge they are called the lengthwise grain line or warp grain line okay usually the strongest thread is used to weave the lengthwise grain line now this lengthwise grain line is not stretchy on this fabric okay this lengthwise grain line is not stretchy on this crinoline mesh now the crosswise grain line are threads that are perpendicular to the self edge okay perpendicular lines it is coming down this way to the self edge okay so this is what we call crosswise grain line and then your bias grain line are lines that are diagonal to your self edge okay it's diagonal to your self edge diagonal lines are lines that divide your angle 90 or your right angle triangle into two okay so that is the diagonal grain line and usually your diagonal grain lines are stretchy this is it so when you turn your fabric and stretch it this way you will notice that it is most times stretchy and folding your fabric in this direction to cut your pattern might not come out well if the pattern is not flay okay this direction of or fold is nice or is suitable for flay to cut flay okay it is suitable to cut flay so when you place your basic bodies this way you realize that it is giving you another look okay your your bodies will not lay flat on the figure or on the client it comes out really bad so you have to put the grain lines into consideration before placing your patterns on the grain line okay and also you can use this grain line to explain to people when you want them to get a particular fabric you can tell them that the fabric is not stretchy on the crosswise grain line or it is stretchy on the crosswise grain line and not stretchy on the 
lengthwise grain line so when they go to the market they are able to know the direction that is stretchy so they don't buy a wrong fabric okay so this is the crinoline mesh and it also has a little shine in it okay 